not the goal. It has never been the goal, getting to the frozen floor. I mean, I understand that, and I appreciate that, and I respect the fact that we're a program who's been in the conversation many times. The goal is never getting to the frozen floor. I mean, the goal is to get to the national championship game and give yourself a chance. When you play veteran teams, and you play teams at this time of the year that uh, have the experience that they have, it's a grind, there's no doubt about it. You know, for us, it's, uh, the focus is always about trying to play our best hockey at the right time of the year, because if you don't, then you're on spring break like everybody else. We've been very fortunate to be led by the senior group that we have. Uh, Tanner Fraser, our captain, has done a fantastic job with 10 freshmen uh, to keep the group together. TJ Black has been the backbone of this team for two and a half years now, and uh, he's an All-American back-to-back, first-team All-American for a reason. We're very proud of our group, we're proud of how far this group came from the beginning of the year to where we are today, and uh, we're looking forward to going to Lake Placid. I think this group has bigger fish to fry, I just do. This group's always had a bigger vision and a bigger goal in mind, and we're going to see if that goal can come true. Once again, the Green Knights are back in the Frozen Four. SNC has been to the tournament in 18 out of the last 22 years, but this trip to Lake Placid will be their 12th appearance in the national semifinals. We have had good success. We had back-to-back -back shutouts here in 2008. The next time we were here was 2010, and we had to double overtime, and we got beat by a very good Norwich team. We came back with a bunch of young guys, like 10 young guys, kind of like now, in 2012, and we won in Lake Placid again. And then we lost here in, in uh, 16 to a good Stevens Point team who just flat out beat us. So uh, we, we've had good success here. We've lost a few games here, obviously, but we love Lake Placid. You look around and you see the names of all of the uh, Olympians from the 80 team, and. Uh, you know, St. Norbert's uh, name back on the wall. And the I love New York sign, you like that. New York. New York. We're, uh, we're excited to be back. I think this is going to be a good opportunity for us, and, you know, we can't wait to get it going. You know, I think anytime you get on the big sheet, it tests your foot speed. Guys really have to understand there's seven and a half extra feet on either side, on the outsides. Uh, you know, 100 feet across makes a big difference. Makes a difference certainly on your penalty kill, makes a difference on your power play. So, you know, it, it can impact the game. Fortunately for us, we use the big sheet at home to prepare before we come out. Well, you get to this time of the year, if you've done your job as a coach, your team is on call it autopilot like there's going to be a little help here and a little help there but uh, these guys they already know the starting lineup they know who's going to jump in what situations our coaching staff overall uh, we get too much credit for everything that transpires at the end of the day we're not on the ice all we are is guidance off the backside and trying to do our part these guys win and lose and they win and lose battles puck battles and they win and lose games Kip Krakus has been back now for a number of years Andy Brandt is an addition this year uh, Andy's input has been invaluable to not only the development of our guys and our young guys but the leadership for our group and just in terms of how we play the game the Lake Placid staff in order here, they do a fantastic job. The St. Albert hockey team is no stranger to the NCAA tournament, not even strangers to the Frozen Four. Team making its eighth trip to the semifinals in 11 years. The Green Knights chasing championships. That's what St. Norbert hockey does. The Green Knights in Lake Placid tonight. Home of the miracle on ice. Look at the Bud Schneider, John Harrington, 1980 gold medalist from the U.S. Olympic Cup. Hey, it's great to have you back in on. I enjoyed watching you guys for a couple years. You've got a nice team, well coached. This, this is exciting for us. And, and uh, to come back here, I mean, you see the room here, the, 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 the little locker room that we're in, it's always crazy to come back and see what it was like from that, that time ago. And nothing much has changed in here.
Greetings, hockey fans, and welcome to a Frozen Four edition of St. Over College Green Night Hockey here on the World Wide Web. Tim Rozier and Chris Spearing along with you from the Olympic Center in Lake Placid, New York, where tonight, your St. Over College Green Night take on the White Mules of Colby College in an NCAA semifinal that promises to be a dandy. certainly had to earn all 60 minutes tonight. To start the game, you know, we got the, the early goal, uh, perhaps a fortunate goal, uh, even the second one, uh, and that just helped us sort of settle, but at the same time, I really seemed to ramp them up. Good job taking the pass away by Colby and forcing Fraze to be the shooter. Fraze that Mason, he scores! Tanner Fraze! St. Norbert needs to keep putting the pedal down. If you saw them late in this period, it was a little bit of a push by the Mules. They've responded well when the Mules had pushed. Three may not be enough. He's going to turn it around. Braves to the circle. Braves to the dot. Shot. Braves scores! He scores! Short-handed! Tanner Braves! Looks like it went five hole, it went back over to the near post strip. It absolutely went five hole. Boy, your captain just puts you on his shoulders, boys. What a play. Tanner's goal to put us up 4-2 was that gave us a big, you know, push back at that time. You know, I had a chance to make a big play and uh, luckily enough it went in for me. Four seconds left as the puck goes wide. Three, two, one. Up in the Green Knights win this hockey game and advance to tomorrow night's title contest against Salve Regina. You know, we had to keep our heads about ourselves and had to make some plays because they certainly were. They're a good team. You're in the last game, in the last night of possibly playing, and you know, there's a lot of things that have to go well. Hung has a injury from last night's hockey game. Brad Pung was a questionable scratch going into tonight's game with a broken finger and stitches up both sides and he's wearing a uh, you know a little splint on his hand. Green Knights change from their white last night to their Dartmouth Greens for tonight's game. Right back from Tanner Fraze 
and went just under the crossbar to the far side, and the Knights have a 2 nothing advantage. When you get to overtime, one overtime or two overtimes, boy, it can go either way, and that's where you just have to trust and believe in your process in terms of what you do. Three on three, maybe four on three the other way. If we keep everyone in, drop back, shot Pong, he scores! Grab Pong, he scores! And big through one call, and the Knights get their fifth national championship! Oh, my goodness! Congratulations.